Hey guys, how's it going? Today I thought I'd make a little video showing you guys the modifications that I have on my Yamaha FZ07. I got this question asked quite a bit, so I thought I would make a little video of it showing you guys, and I'll link all the modifications down below. So we'll start from the front and work our way back. On the front wheel and as well as the rear wheel, I have these eBay uh, wheel stickers. Like I said, I just got them off eBay, and I really like these because they don't cover the inside barrel of the rim. They actually just cover the outside lip, which I really like. And also they were super cheap. On the front here, I also have these axle sliders. I'll try and zoom in right here. Have Evotech axle sliders, as well as the frame sliders on the side here, and the axle sliders on the back that also act as spools. I think this is a huge investment for your bike, just in case you do go down or you drop your bike in a parking lot, it's gonna protect your bike a little bit. So another modification I have on the front here is the GVA2118 windscreen. Um, I think this windscreen is probably the best one you can get for the FZ07. Um, the reason I say that is because I think it looks the best. It kind of flows with the lines of the bike, but it also performs really well. Um, I've tried a few other windscreens and didn't really like them. Um, this one for the size, it protects a decent amount of wind, especially upwards of speeds of upwards to like 120 to 140 kilometers an hour. Obviously, if you want full protection, you're gonna need a bigger windscreen, but this one does the job for the size of it, and I think it's very high quality and probably the best one for the FZ07. On the front here, I also have the Barracuda signal lights. I'll go ahead and turn them on for you really quickly. These signal lights came on my bike when I bought it because I bought the bike used, but I haven't had any problems with them yet. Super bright, and they are super easy to install um, if you have to install them yourself. Yeah, they look kind of cool, and I really like them. Moving on to the handlebars, as you guys can see, I have different handlebars on this bike. These are the Pro Taper Carmichael Bend handlebars. They're super wide, so if you're a little bit bigger guy, you're gonna really like these. Um, they give the bike a little bit more aggressive feel because they all are also um, a little bit more forward, so you're leaning over a little bit, um, but they're super comfortable still. Um, some people um, do find them a little wide. Um, I find if you're a little bit smaller dude, you're gonna find them a little bit too wide, but you can cut the ends off um, and make them the certain size you want. But overall, I really, really like these handlebars and I think they give the bike a lot more aggressive feel. Attached to those handlebars, I do have the Driven Racing D-axis mirrors. Um, these mirrors are very high quality, but they are very expensive. They're about $150 a piece. Um, they look really good though, which I really like on the bike and they came with the bike, so I'm glad I didn't have to pay that price for them. But the blue matches really nicely with the rest of the blue on the bike. And I get a lot of questions about these, so I thought I would show them off in the video. Um, I also connected these with the blue and black shorty um, levers these are just off amazon a lot of people kind of hate amazon levers the reason for that is because they don't think they're very high quality um, i've had these ones which are about 60 dollars canadian and i also have ones that are about 220 dollars canadian and they both do their job very well um, these ones do vibrate a little bit but haven't had any problems with them so far on these handlebars, I also have the R6 throttle tube. This is a must-have mod for any FZ07 order. What it does is it shortens the throw of the throttle, so you're kind of accessing full throttle a lot quicker. Um, a lot of people say that it makes the bike hard to ride, but I honestly don't see the reason behind that. Um, it's still a nice and smooth bike, and you're just kind of accessing the throttle a little bit sooner um, rather than twisting it all the way down. All right, so the last mod on the handlebars is the Color Cluster LCD Flip. What it does is it inverts the color of your dash to a black dash, and I think it just overall gives you a very aggressive looking front end for your motorcycle. Um, and it's a super easy to do and super cheap mod that um, it really benefit or re really pays off in the end, I guess. All right, moving on to the rest of the bike now. Um, as you guys can see, the bike is wrapped matte black. Um, it has gloss black stickers on the d on the tank, just to kind of give it some contrast, which I really like. I don't know if you can kind of see it with the camera settings I have, but there you go. Oh, it's blurry now. But yeah, I really like the look, really like the look of the all black MTs. Um, they look a lot more aggressive than what they actually are. So decided to wrap mine black. I also have the Ermax belly pan on the bottom here. Um, this is the unpainted model. So if you're going to get one, I recommend the unpainted version just because it's a lot cheaper than the painted models and it matches the black pretty well. Also have the Acropovic exhaust system down here. This kind of covers up a little bit, but I'll show you guys around back. Probably the best sounding exhaust you can get for this um, model of a bike. I have a huge, or not a huge, I have a short video showing you guys the sound of this on my other videos, and it's about to hit 2 million views, which is absolutely, incre which is absolutely incredible. Um, so make sure you guys go ahead and watch that if you guys haven't. To keep with the black theme, I also painted these black side covers um, and the heel plates i'm going to be getting hopefully new rear sets soon so that's why these are still silver 
And then on the inside here, I have the, so I'll just crank up the brightness a bit. On the inside here, I have the Horde Power Air Box. Um, this is an absolute must have mod for your M Yamaha FZ07. Changes the bike uh, completely. It gives it about eight to 10 more horsepower with the full system as well as the tune. And honestly, just gives the bike a lot more power than it does have stock. A lot of people say that it's only 10 horsepower, but it's a huge improvement over stock. Um, you can definitely feel the power all the way through the RPMs as well as the front wheel comes up a lot easier than without it. Finishing it up back here, I have the rim stickers, like I said. Also have my signal lights routed to the vents here on the bike. One there, one on the other side, and I also have the license plate kind of, a DIY license plate just mounted to the bike with a couple zip ties. Super easy to do and super cheap and kind of really transforms the look of the rear end of the motorcycle. Lastly, I have the Air Max Sea Cowl on this. Um, I really like this mod. Um, I didn't think it was gonna kind of, I was gonna like it as much as I do, but it just changes the bike, the back end of the bikes completely, as well as it gives you a little bit more support when you're riding. I'm a little bit bigger dude, so I do hit the back of the seat, but when I'm giving it some throttle, it kind of holds you in seat, holds you in your seat, as well as when you're popping a wheelie, it kind of holds you in place, which is really nice. So there you go. That is the modifications I have on my FZ07. Got a lot of questions, so I thought I would make a little video. Um, it's kind of cold out, so sorry if I was stuttering a little bit throughout this video, but wanted to get um, one last ride in on the last day that we had here. Um, it's only about five degrees, so bear with me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll have a couple more videos coming out very soon, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.